What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we were sieging Williamsburg and this American force is now sailing out. So we have to be uh, fight a bit of a careful defensive battle to make sure things don't get out of our control. So let's take them on. Um, if, I, if I could retreat, I would retreat because our army's pretty badly knocked up. So we're going to have to... <laughs> We're going to have to uh, be a bit careful with how we deploy and make sure we don't leave any units hanging out on the flanks and make them easy to be uh, isolated and destroyed. So let's see, we've still got a reasonable number of men and we've got a lovely defensive position. Gun team. Put our grenadiers together because they're so weak as it is. Gun team. Studious regiment. Put both of those guys together. Third gun team. Put a weak unit of line next to them, and then a stronger unit next to them. And maybe a guard regiment on that flank. Then we take an infantry unit on the left. Our pike units are going to be quite imp quite important in this action. Let's group our cavalry together on one flank. Our general's going to get busy on the other alone, so it's a bit of a risk. Oh, I almost clicked start. Let my how let my how it just focus on the enemy troops that are coming up. Good quick climb hit. It's all this cavalry. It's potentially a concern. I mean, I've got my pikes. That's true, but I don't have as many of them as I'd like. So I would like my howitzers to try and focus on their cavalry because their their militia, their, well their infantry line will get swept away once we've once they're in range of grape shot. Well, theoretically, let's bring up my conquistador to try and do some. Sniping against this you unit know, of mounted tribal auxiliary. Actually, no, mounted tribal auxiliary. Uh, advance, bring the hussars in. I'm relying on fire at will, doing some good work at the moment. Charge the tribal auxiliary, hopefully, before they get a volley off. And we have keep the hussars back, the conquistador. Okay, it's quick climb. Ooh, our garrison, our minutemen are routing. Well, their minutemen are routing. Ah, oh, there go my conquistador. Bad call. Infantry line is advancing. So switch to canister shot and begin pushing them back. Pikemen. Get up here. Conquistador back.
bring in the dragoons, we'll bring in the the pikes, but they've had enough. So you men hit that militia unit, you men turn left, hit them, you guys. I mean they might hit my guns, but I'm they're wavering already. So their cavalry's in, but we can respond. Okay, let's get up the other unit of pikes on the right flank as well. The provincial cavalry unit should be going down. So you guys hit the first regiment of militia. First, the seventh regiment of foot there. The Swiss pikes charge on. My raw guards hold back. My gun crews run away. up on the firelock armed citizenry. E men form the line again. Gunner, uh, gunners form the line. So they're firing into this combat with the this unit of Minutemen, but that's not necessarily the outcome they want. There we go. Man the guns and open up. General's bodyguard on the left can try and chase down some of these units. Well, attempt to anyway. So we're surrounding and destroying the enemy on the right flank. Push up my. Push up and let my unit of guards into this combat on the right. Get the Hussars to chase down the General's bodyguard. No, actually, get. Okay, I was wander my General's bodyguard forward a bit too close. Quick climb. Focus on the left. These garrison Minutemen will likely fall because they are these brown coated chaps. This time, my guys are the guys in blue. Oh no, those my hussars came back. No, attack the general's bodyguard. An American general. Conquistadors can chase down the enemy. Unit there. You men fall back. You men fall back. Kill the enemy general. That's good stuff. Charge down that native bowman auxiliary. You men also fire canister shot at the seventh. Should be quick climb on their way to you. Let's fly round shot at them because they were just out of canister range. Yeah, get stuck in. We are going to continue. We've not got much cavalry, but let's make use of it. Oh my god, I forgot I had an entire another conquistador unit. I'm so dumb. You attack the 7th, you guys are attacking that unit of irregulars, you guys are attacking the general's bodyguard, this unit of conquistador chase down the militia. Good stuff. God, that other cav cavalry would have been super handy if I realised we had it. That's part of the problem about having such uh, interesting unit types is that you end up <laughs> things get lost. 
the garrison militia are going down thick and fast. There we go. You try chase down that unit of militia. They probably not. You're probably not going to get them, but just to make sure they disappear. You, if they don't run away, we we kill them. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So this unit of conquistador is hacking away at the garrison minutemen. I mean, my cavalry might. Ah, oh, how how frustrating. But there we go. That's the garrison here destroyed. So I'm hoping we can get some uh, replenishment next turn. And there go the pirates. Pirates are going to do what pirates are going to do. Um, the Americas are kind of more of a sideshow at the minute. I mean, we do have that Persian force that's landed to the north. So the best thing, the best way to fix them is to probably take back Diego de Cordoba. Keep building up the strength at Boston. I'm assuming we're probably not going to need them, need an army to watch the Cherokee frontier for now, because we do have, well, we've got one army in the area. Do some good old upgrades to our economy in the Americas because this is worth a huge amount of money to us. If I'm going to upgrade all those fur trapper posts, I want to upgrade the commercial base into a global trading company so I don't get caught out and limited by what I can and can't export. Burgas, let's get a, a light galley to occupy you. So, Austria and Westphalia to all adversaries. So Württemberg. I mean, they're bringing the. They might bring in the Inuit and Denmark, which I'd rather not bother with. Um, let's take this sixth-rate to Stockholm. You're going to take this line infantry. Don't know why it's telling you. Don't know why it's telling you you can't get aboard ship. And sail into Gdynia. As the new men form the first component of the Königsberg garrison. Poland is still pretty secure. Austria is coming, but I'm not that bothered about it. So let's push you guys up. New men recombine with these units coming in for support and re regroup in Belgrade. You, Jean Mazdeur, go back to Iassi in case Russia decides to do something sneaky. You guys hold ground because we are going to be taking Klausenberg. We also need to be ready. Well, the Persians, so they've, they've pushed and fallen back. Let's build walls in Baghdad to help maintain the security of the city. Upgrade a weaver's cottage, then leave this last handful of income. Now, the Rhineland broke down a steam engine factory, but that's that's okay. They're now they're in the fold. In Amsterdam, let's upgrade you to a... You're already pretty heavy, heavy Catholic, so let's upgrade this to a craft workshop. Oh no, I'm doing it again. No, don't spend the money. I've got to spend money on regrouping and repairing my armies. So this army, again, it's another Austrian force that's pretty weak. So let's take Marcio Campos to attack Klausenberg and deny another city from the Austrian Empire because suddenly they're looking incredibly weak in this episode. Um, ever since we... Well, because at one point I'm sure we were getting 16, 17,000 in cash, but then the next time I looked at it, it was like, oh, actually, it's, you know, quite high. Then if we boost our policies a bit, which we can, then 
we can get some a decent amount of emergency income. So there is scope to draw those policies back down once the, the war with Austria is in a better position. So let's put the artillery back here on this ridge. I mean, they could well be... Well, actually, that might be... Oh no, they are deploying up in this area, not back here. So there might be okay. How it is going to be up close, up, up close to the line, pouring fire. Create a strong line to advance because we know we have. We are the superior army. Put our cavalry on either flank, general in the centre. Okay, alright, so I've got a bit of a funky terrain feature to negotiate, have we? Will you men go up to there? Cease fire with my Lion Cavalry. He might think I'm mad, but I've got a plan. Now fire. No, oh, too bad about the noise. Charge! They're only provincial cavalry, so I can withstand a charge from them. So you men push up pretty rapidly. My howitzers. Where's those Hungarian fusiliers? It's a line infantry unit. Where are those fusiliers? Hungarian fusiliers, there we go. Start to knock them out. You men run into position because the enemy is nearby. Run up our line cavalry to do some counter skirmish work. I mean, it's frustrating we don't have any. There we go. So they're countering. I'm using my line ca I wonder how much ammunition they've got. Ammunition 17. They've got more than a regular unit, unit of line. I, think, I suppose that's understandable because they are... They are a smaller unit. Good. So this line advance up to here. These men advance up to this side of the terrain feature. Cavalry's been knocked out, so let's advance the flank up here. Keep my infantry going. My cavalry to charge the provincial cavalry. Let's tip pivot these men so they don't shoot into that combat. Yeah, you guys got hit by provincial cavalry, but you will survive that. Carcass shot coming in from the enemy mortars. And yep, it's blown a hole in my line. There's not a lot we can do about that. The garrison line are routing. The 44th militia are not going to hold on their own, isolated and under intense musket fire. Yeah, they've routed. Keep ratcheting the line forward. Then my cuirassier guard get over here and charge the seventh regiment of horse. The right flank has been broken.
Good quick climb shots inbound. It's enemy reinforcements coming in towards the rear. I mean, uh, let's get our artillery and actually be firing at something useful. There we go. My heavy cavalry will, should easily knock out this provincial cavalry. They want to make it an a issue where they charge my line. But they're not going to get away with that. And if they do, it won't be enough. You guys drop into square because it looks like they do want to run into the back of one of my infantry units. Ratchet forward again. The mortars are now becoming exposed. Let's bring my carabiner in to see if they can rapidly knock them out. Yes, yeah, so on the 7th Regiment of Horse, because they were determined to try to hit my square, actually uh, things worked out even worse for them. Hungarian Fusiliers are down. Push my line up with an eye on these enemy troops. Change our artillery to focus on the right flank. I can get my carabiner in against the... Against the um, against the artillery in the town. Some units, send some units to head off the, uh, the troops that are reinforcing. The carabiner again, they're fighting its regular line infantry, but I'm hoping I can knock out their, their horse artillery and then the mortars over here. Come on, route, you swines, route. Speaking of, let's pick new targets for my howitzers. Shot them, even though they're not in range. Bring my cavalry in. You men push on to hit the mortars. Push these troops in to support the melee. Get the grenadiers in. You hit the provincial cavalry. The Swiss line hit the field artillery. The enemy's broken on the right flank. Got a unit of pikemen back there. So you men part advance around the buildings, you guys advance through the buildings. Grenadiers to flank around, get the Swiss line over here to fire another, get another angle against pikes, get my carabiner cavalry over here to do the same job. To be honest, there's no point risking my cavalry now. The general's been absent throughout all this, although there are spikes. Swiss line halts, he's fire, line cavalry, hit the mortars. There we go. I'm hoping I can, well I have, surrounded this unit of Gul Gulai regiment. They're being fired at. Two units there, one unit straight ahead and a grenade unit forming up to their rear. Artillery cease fire, battle line here cease fire, cavalry charge the pikes. There we go, battle should be over. 
but I'm going to continue just to let my cavalry work on these pike units. You guys work on the regiment over there. Down to 130 odd before they routed, that's pretty good going. So I didn't charge these guys immediately because we still did a quite a big amount of damage through just musketry. But now they are running away running away from a particular well, I suppose they are running to another routing zone, but down to 34 men. It's still quite a good win, because these guys, those two units were both reinforcing units, so it is definitely in our interest to make sure they, they are knocked out. And as they push back on the road towards Austria, so you can repair that. You men can replenish. Or we can do what we're supposed to do. Let's take the weakest unit of line. Reinforce all our other units of line. Our weakest unit of grenadier, a weakest unit of guards can reinforce our other guard units. So the guard unit fall out. Infantry unit fall out. Let's put some grenadiers and another unit of line into the mix. I think apart from that, everyone's more or less good to go. Realistically, that's cut down our, our um, reinforcement burden significantly. So Mr. Galve, advance north and auto-resolve this final action against the dregs. There we go. You then push up to the line. You're already Catholic. So let's introduce a Smith's Workshop. I mean, it was, it's very tempting to, to attack Württemberg because we can take Sarajevo and we can take um, Stuttgart. But then again, Stuttgart is actually blocking a good chunk of enemy troops away from us. We'll have to wait and see there. In Spain, a new army is being recruited, but I... Ooh, first Catalonia Regiment. Let's recruit one of those because we have just a, just enough money to do it. Over here at Portugal. Oh no, it's because we've got the Terrestre Guerrillas. Well, let's... Well, as we've already recruited the Guerrillas, let's keep them. You can advance up to Madrid. Can't get can't get quite inside. Um, right, I think the thing to do now is to hit end turn. And Tripoli is 100% Catholic. Very well. Cairo is being converted as is Damascus. Push on to Syria. Although Syria looks like it's converted. Oh, Tunis isn't, but it's being slowly converted. We do have a seminary down here at Cairo. So when they're done, we're going to want to destroy the seminary and rebuild it up as an educational building. Get these engineers to join our reinforcing army. Good. Obviously you're being recruited with not much purpose. Let's push some of these guys up to the reinforcing armies anyway. Okay, so Persia is going to take Falmouth, maybe push on and take Fork Arcadia, but Boston's got a bit of a defence. Full army's on the way. You guys don't need <clears throat> don't need um, cavalry. Spend whatever cash we got left on reinforcing this army. I mean, fundamentally, we pushed away. The garrison is much stronger, so that shouldn't be a problem. We, ah, but we do have Ilfonso Mendez attacking Santo Domingo. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's take San, um, uh, Santo Domingo back into the Spanish Empire that was briefly liberated by the Swedish, the dreaded Swedish, who are now no longer a factor. Let's take back the city and let's bring back some more precious trade goods into our empire. 
we are going to be storming straight through this because we do not want to be fighting in the town. Not when we've got an irregular army backed up by mortars to deal with. We're going to be positioning our troops to ju <clears throat> to just uh, storm through their line. There we go. Then these guys are going to go here. Good, so my... Just storm up. There's no... No need to be cautious. Get all my guns to focus on some of these other units. There's the Pirate King. Push up to within musket range of the mortars, because then you'll... A, A, you'll push them away, and B, you'll uh, potentially use the earthworks for your own cover. There we go. Keep on advancing. Our artillery folks on these units that might be working their way through a gap. The 133rd are going to just open up into the massive pirate bodies coming their way. They got knocked down a bit by the mortars themselves. They've lost a handful of men here, but I'm afraid it will not be enough to save them. I'm just using muskets. I could I could have just attacked the mortars, but I'm relying on fire by rank, seeing them off, which it has. My mor my um, cavalry are pretty much waiting for units to rout so that I can charge in and shatter them because the big thing about fighting pirate nations is that they do just rout and come back they just keep on coming back there's quite a chunk of men there want to shatter them to make sure that uh, should they elect to come back they will not be able to I mean it's a bit tricky because they've got um, a line of cavalry spikes protecting the rear but get our gorillas over here Come on, shatter them. All my artillery pretty much focus on this big central clump. Push these two units up into the gap here. Get these gorillas in the town hall. As the cannonballs slam home, they're increasingly looking upset. Yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to just run away from my infantry, no sir. Shattered, broken, broken, broken. Looks like they are going to 
charge our line. So we've got plenty of chaps with muskets. They're going down. General's bodyguards are outing. So we're starting to do some damage after securing the town hall. Push you guys around. You guys run over there. You guys squash into the center. All my guns engage this unit of colonial militia because they're nearly routed. They're gone. They're gone. And obviously the one thing that's come back is the general's bodyguard. So even though these guys are all defeated, still the general's bodyguard comes back, although we have just lobbed a fantastic artillery shot into them. There you go, they're also getting picked at by the men inside the building here, so hopefully that should be them gone. Good. Very good indeed. Very, very good. So, that's another one of our Caribbean holdings recaptured. Can't yet do anything about it, but we've got our Let's get a sloop over to Port of Pay, because we might be able to... No, I was hoping we might be able to fix that. Can't fix anything with $12. There we go, Santo Domingo secured, and if nothing else, it's providing us a reasonable level of tax income. Um, right, in terms of research, nothing immediately on the horizon to worry about. In terms of diplomacy, everyone either hates us or is at war with us. Or we're trading with... Fortunately, Mysore stays very friendly with us. What offer peace and trade with Persia? Will they accept it? Oh, they want. Ooh, they want quicklime. Yes, because if I give them quicklime, that means these guys have disappeared. They've got. They've teleported all the way back to Persia. Okay, that means I can stop recruiting. Well, I should probably slowly recruit a reinforcing army. So the Huron. Who are the Huron? I with. Cherokee, the Inuit. The Huron might be a, a an acceptable target. Although, to be honest, they're also at war with the Cherokee. Um, we we'll need to re repair this and push on into Louisiana, really. Maybe you guys might be a good candidate to push on to Charleston to help knock out the Americans. And then we can push on the Cherokee a bit more astutely. We can try and build up this force here at York Factory a bit more. So they're a bit more of a proper actual army to engage the Huron. We're on for 74,000 next turn. A whole lot of ivory. Oh, so many resources. Good, 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 good. And then, yeah, I'm glad Persia saw sense and decided, no, let's, let's not do that, because it's like, no. We are friends, you and I. Granted, I've just given them quicklime, which isn't a great technology to hand out, but for the sake of teleporting an army back to the, back to their, um, their lands, I think it's pretty useful. Um, would you do a church school? Maybe. Okay, let's hit in turn. Oh yes, we're attacking Berlin. I forgot about this. And yes, we are going to attack it because... What? Actually, I wonder if... Well, this is going to be cheeky. Let's see. I wonder if... <laughs> they accepted it. They've accepted my surrender. They've accepted my demand of surrender of Berlin. My god, Austria is screwed. They're abandoning... They're pulling loads of troops out of northern Italy, which, you know, the, the faster they do that, the faster then we'll just replace them with our own troops. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to push into northern Italy again from the west. Because uh, Austria appears 
content to pull troops out of the uh, out of the region. And I can understand it because they have lost Königsberg, Gdansk, Berlin, and Warsaw within a single turn. Mm, so they're not completely isolated in the north in northern Italy. But the end will be ready. The end will be nigh for them. We also need to push into we push into the Westphalians. They're taking Cologne. Let's take Hanover. Let's knock Westphalia out of the game. Russia's the permanent hovering spectre, and their position won't get any better if we take out Austria, because all it will mean is that all it means is that us, their old enemy, has uh, has gained a significant tax base advantage over them. But it looks like they're going to be. Well, no, well, no, they're still moving. They are still moving. No immediate concerns there. <laughs> so I was a bit worried that they might uh, really slow down my campaign. Although, actually, it looks like that's what's going to happen, generally. So, I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back once they finish deciding what they're going to do. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we're back. And they've pretty much just sailed some ships around, run some spies around. But they haven't really done much else, so we probably do want to push on to... Ah, so they've not given us a opportunity. They are going to... Well, they're going to declare war on us. And the Americans are also going to sally again at Williamsburg. So we're going to manually fight that as well. So it means this turn we can push on and take Strasbourg and we can take uh, Belgrade. And prevent the... Prevent the damned uh, Württembergs from maintaining a, a dagger in our, at our backs, and it's strange really. Uh, well, well, it's not strange. You'd think they might have done something with their Württemberg force, because they might, they must suspect that we're going to be heading right for them. So now we have fortifications to help improve our defensive position. Good. Come on. There we go. And then the unit like so. The Studios Regiment. The last gun. Okay, let's knock you guys back a bit. Uh, we've also got you guys, who are going to have cavalry defence, the Spanish Guard that are going to go wide, the cavalry defence, Asturias Regiment with the cavalry defence, then we've also got our pikes. Let's put the bulk of our pikes on the right flank, based on our experiences last from last time. Deposit our howitzers. Okay, let's put our cavalry in it's like so. General in the centre. Well again, actually it seemed like the, the real move was to have them on the right flank. I think that's everyone. Let's, let's open up. Howitzers go for their strongest units. Well, biggest units, not necessarily their strongest units. Because fundamentally, Yankee Doodle ain't got nothing on me. Marion's Rangers. Beautiful. I do love the United States as a faction in this game. And I do like the United States in real life. Trump was a bit of a wobble, but meh. Not going to turn this into a political thing, eh? Because, well, chiefly because I don't really pay attention to politics anymore. Because what's the point? <laughs> what's the point of getting worked up about something that you are unable to uh, to change because it's not a election year? But let's see. We're charging in to the second regiment of horse. Okay, let's use our quick climb to start to selectively route units. Oh, 
mean, you guys fire it well off. If, if they're just going to charge skirmishes at us. You men realise you can't just stand there and wait for us. You can't just let us bombard you, because we will. Unashamedly. <laughs> yep. We're slowly knocking them back, just with artillery fire. Go on then, are you going to... Gonna Attack this hill. The Dragoons have dismounted. It's the 4th Regiment of Line. Advancing up the hill. Ooh. Yeah, we could do a lot more, but to be honest, sometimes it's nice just to watch the battle unfold. Who's this? Yeah, this is the fourth here. Oh, grenadiers of... Oh god, they've actually lost a whole bunch of... Well, half the number already. Nope, they didn't even get to fire their volley. What about the other fire lock armed citizen? Oh my god. <laughs> They're not doing so hot either. Native Bowman Auxiliary. the end of them. There go the native bows. Enemy general's been struck down by a cannonball. There he goes. He's, the staff have called the with, with the withdrawal. That's right, America. Bow to your Spanish overlords. Hurrah! It's the Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I, I have fond memories of my US campaign. My longest campaign I've ever run, actually. 143 episodes, which the Ita Italians may or may not beat. Britain certainly won't. Newport emerges in Odessa and the Crimea. Okay, let's recruit. Another galley, upgrade the commercial port here. Let's do some repairs and basic economy upgrades. Good stuff. Um, because, yeah, Sarajevo is within striking range of Belgrade, who doesn't have to be garrisoned. Mas uh, do I keep Marcio there? Do I bring my reinforcing army west to plug the gaps? Because they are growing into quite a strong force themselves, but I mustn't forget, they are destined to provide reinforcements. That is their objective. So you men stand more in the middle here. Well, actually, you guys stand here on this road. Mr. Galve push forward to plug the gaps, so now that should be... This entire front covered by both these armies. Trade agreement cancelled with Württemberg, understandably, because we're at war now. Let's get our spy, our gentleman, into a... Our nearest school is probably going to be back in Madrid, isn't it? Yep. So, we've got this force here that just requires... Three units of regular infantry, I think. See, I've got I've recruited some elites, but I don't want them. I don't want to. I don't want to fill all my armies up with elites because I need to so I want to spread them out. Three units of regular line is good enough. Actually, I could get I could get it from here. Upgrade the military academy. And the great arsenal. Advance the Tercio pikemen up to a new position. 
do some farming upgrades upgrade this iron complex to be honest there's a lot of places that my farm oh, I could spend on farming upgrades farm upgrades and port upgrades that's going to be an expensive but worthwhile next step Spain's already got all their global trading companies Oh, you are actually undefended. Let's put this militia army into Greenwich while I recruit a sloop. And I upgrade one of you. Paris needs better roads. Uh, Brussels doesn't have any roads. I don't know how I missed that. Amsterdam needs better roads. Strasbourg needs better roads, so this army can hold the bridge, recruit a general, Celso Delgado, and they require a unit of skirmishers and two infantry units, so let's get that. Let's actually set you to recruit. It is two units of line plus... Well, I can't recruit Swiss Mountain Jaeger because they're being recruited from someone that's damaged. Uh, let's use this as an opportunity to get some Irish regiments. There we go. But yeah, so Württemberg is within strike range because they've got a couple of units here, a full stack here, and most of their troops are actually defending Hungary. So that means both of their cities are ripe for the taking. As is probably taking an army like you pushing forward and hitting Bologna and pushing out Felix Weingart you're now at full full strength and you've got way too much artillery send you back to Paris you you've got okay you've got a cavalry unit that can go to Mr. Reyes so you're at full strength now as well. You advance back through the north. You guys advance through the south. Oh, it is absolutely chucking it down outside. And the river's pretty... Well, the tide's in, so the river's quite high. Uh-oh. Yeah, soon we'll be able to push into or squeeze more than Italy in the west. Let's keep this artillery together. To be honest, let's send them to join this pike unit because they're going to be a they're going to be a um, start of my next force I think but what I want to do is take Strasbourg odds on me being able to leave the city pretty good push on and I might actually siege Stuttgart because they've got a set of mortars. I've got some good units. And I don't really want to lose them. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Continue the siege while we bring up bring up some mortars. Whereas here, I'm pretty sure this force does have mortars, but it's short on infantry unit. So we're gonna take one. Let's take the Swiss line infantry unit. Mr. Rig, march on Sarajevo. You men get back to Belgrade. Yeah, can't really recruit any of that stuff. Because they have to make their way across Europe, which is dodgy, to say the least. Uh, okay, I might have to knock down some of my buildings here. Apologies, farmers. I require your money to rebuild Berlin. Ideally, I'd like to have... I should really have um, rebuilt the... Or built some defences. But I think I'll be able to hold. This agent can go to Minsk and get some intelligence on what's going on over there. 
I could take mints, but I'm content just to kind of let them wait, because right now they can only really either attack directly to Kiev or towards Warsaw, so I'm not overly bothered. So you're marching on Sarajevo. You, you're only going to wait to see what this guy does. Maybe trigger a interception. What I might do... What I might do is... Can Mr. Demicado... If I can hit Gottlieb Hat, does that bring in them? No. Auto that, just to get rid of them. So in future we can send both these armies north and attack this large chunk of Westphalians. While not leaving a gap in our lines. If I move these guys north, that's a hole there that anyone could run, potentially run through behind our line. So let's hit end turn. As our men continue to advance, and things are actually going pretty well, I think, in this campaign. The main enemy I was concerned about is now looking incredibly manageable. Yeah, understandably they are turning most of their strength up to the north, where our armies are less prepared. And they are surrounding Berlin, but if Berlin if the Berlin garrison should fall, they served their purpose. Although I might um Ooh. They're gonna sally and attack us in the in the mountain pass. That is pretty fun, but looking at time we're pretty close to the end of the episode, so I think I'm probably gonna kick this next episode off with this interesting fight. So Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of, hopefully, the Turian Garrison. Cheers everyone.